Hello everybody. Whenever you are doing any sort of analysis or if you are building any statistical model, the first thing which you require is data, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. So when uh, to create any kind of statistical model or to do any sort of analysis, the first thing which we require is data. And when it comes to natural language processing, our data is mostly in the form of document, text, words, sentences, etc. Right. But the problem is how to get the kind of data we require for analysis. That's the biggest hurdle. Right. So let's say if you were uh, building some sort of NLP model, so mostly you would find the data you require is available on the web but how to get that so the one way is to do the web scrapping but for that it takes some time you require some coding expertise and all those things so for example you have this web page wikipedia where you have the information about the pichai and now you require to have this data in python so that you could build your nlp model you can do some sort of analysis classification or summarization etc right so you require to have this data in python but how would you do that for that the one solution like i said is doing the web scrapping and then there is one another solution for which you don't require to have the web scrapping skill yes and that's going to be really amazing thing that is nothing but using goose library right so how can you start with that so simple thing you can uh you can just do pip install goose 3 this is the library which is going to help you fetch the data from any web page right and you know get the clean data out of that though i already have this goose library installed in my machine but still i did it again right uh, so like you can see here requirement already satisfied right so once you are done with installing what you need to do is say from goose 3 import goose be careful about the sentence uh, i mean the cases right so if you see over here it is all in small case but here this has g with capital letter okay so be mindful for that <coughs> Now, once you are done with installing this, next thing which you require to do is just create an object out of this, right? So here I'm just going to call it my goose and into that I'm just going to create an object this. Then the next thing which you require is URL from where you are trying to extract the data. Let's say I want to extract the data from Wikipedia about Sundar Pichai, right? So I'll just take that and put it inside this that is it now we need to fetch the data how can we fetch the data so let's say i'm going to create another object which is called wiki or let's say uh, yeah let's call it wiki okay and then here i'm just going to say my goose dot extract it's that simple right and you put just url over here this is it it will fetch all the data which you require and then after that you can see it so it's just taking bit of time now it is done it's that simple you see now after having this installed if you want to check what is the domain of this data so see it is fetching the data from wikipedia all right wikipedia.org now if you want to see all the links available into that right so what you can do is you can do this and here you get what is there right so all sort of hyperlinks which you see over here urls or etc whatever this blue color links you see over here all of these things have been extracted over here right the next thing which you may require and the most awaiting thing is getting the text out of it all right so how can you get that text it's it's very simple right let's say wiki dot clean text and here you got what is it the exactly what you are looking for for so long okay so it just extracted the data which you need and now you can take this you can do the further text cleaning which we require to do our nlp you know modeling or model building or etc you can do the tokenization limitization whatever you require right you can do all those things now if you are wondering what all are the things that you can do using this so here is list of functions that you can use right the, uh, that, that you can do you see over here domain etc etc let's try using the doc what is it that we can do using the doc okay it is it turns out not of much use 
but there are many other functions which you can try okay for example let's try infos right so when you use this what you see is it is classifying all the contents available on that wikipedia page for example meta information this is blank language which is used in that particular wikipedia page is english then uh, it says if the it it, it couldn't uh, extract the image then what is the domain so when you say wiki.domain you'll get this domain okay now if you want to fetch the title so you can simply say <clears throat> sorry so you can say wiki.title so what is that wikipedia page about that's about sundapi chai right so that's what you get and uh, you saw it correct correctly over here right and you see this is the clean text which we just got so whatever um, this thing you see over here this key which you see over here you can just call them on this particular object okay now after that if you go down you will see list of links all available over here you see these are all the links which are available over here the author there is no author name there is no published date so otherwise if if the wikipedia has wikipedia page has any author name that you can get using this if you can also get the published date using this but this doesn't have any published date so that's why you're not getting so i hope you understood this is very simple thing and trust me it's going to be very useful i highly encourage you to use it extensively you can try using facebook url you can try using any other url i just hope that you enjoyed watching this and it, you found it useful just in case of any doubt feel free to Put that doubt into the comment section. I'll be happy to reply on that. Until then, happy learning. Wish you very all the best.